Oli Matthews here, creator of the Revitalization Blueprint, optimization and accountability coach for some of the world's leading entrepreneurs. Now, before I dive into this video, go over to revitalizationblueprint.com forward slash instant impact. We have a full library of content there. There are workouts, nutrition plans, and there's going to be the secret to your goals. Get an accountability. So get over there, first 20 members, $1 for the first month. And then it's just $30. Revitalizationblueprint.com forward slash instant impact. I'm going to go into some of the steps that I go through with every single individual client I work with. Some of the things that have worked, they won't be for every single client, but I go through them with every single client to see if they are going to have the impact that I know they can in order to hack their health and essentially double their income. All within the first eight weeks of working with me. The first one is to actually set a goal. Write it down, how we're gonna get there. What are the steps to get there? We don't just say we wanna get from A to Z. We look at the steps to go from B, C, D, E, F, and so on. We wanna make sure there is a clear plan. And what happens if there's some roadworks and we need to take a diversion? We need to have these goals. Have a time frame, have an outcome. Know that we're not just going to get up every day and working without a specific goal. You have goals in your business, you have targets, you have quarterly targets. Maybe there's like every third of the, every 90 days you have targets. We have these in our business. So why don't we have these with our health, with our optimization and our accountability? That is number one. Number two is to include to-do lists in your fitness and health. We have to do this for the day, priority jobs, to actually impact our business in a positive way. We get these to-do lists done. So we want to include fitness, health, optimization within our to-do lists. Making sure we're getting our morning routine right. Making sure we're getting our movement right. Making sure we're getting our macro macros right. We want to make sure the food and nutrition is totally optimal, not just with the macronutrients, but micronutrients as well. And we do this by setting to-do lists. Cross things off, you're winning all the time. And that goes with number three. Schedule your health in like it is the most important meeting you are going to take today. It is your time. People say they haven't got time for health. You don't fit health into your day. Health adds to your day. In fact, every single client that I've worked with, every single client I have worked with, has said that once they have a perfect routine for their specific day, notice there's no one perfect routine for everyone, it is your perfect routine. Once a client has their perfect routine, they can get double, even treble the amount of work done in less the time because their focus is much higher, their productivity is much higher, and they have so much more energy. So therefore, they get more money as a result. The fourth one, not every single client does this, but most clients, we look at some sort of fasting routine. Not over 24 hours, but intermittent fasting. Not necessarily along the lines of the warrior diet, or 16-4, or anything like 16-8. We want to make sure that any sort of fasting protocol is there to give you the benefits. Every time we have large meals, our body is gonna be working to digest these. That means we're not gonna be optimally focusing. We're not gonna be as productive necessarily. If you're someone that likes to snack during the day, cool. But what I will say is there have been studies showing that if you have small meals, the more overweight you are, having meals regularly boosts your cortisol levels. So if you are severely overweight and you don't wanna have your cortisol stress levels as high as they actually are, especially with the highly stressful business you have day to day, then maybe some sort of fasting proto protocol could, could be the way for you to go. The fifth one is something which a lot of clients love because the technology we have nowadays allows us to buy our shopping, our groceries online. You don't even have to go to the store and some people have their assistant go to the store. What I like to do is actually when someone else, like my wife is going shopping, I will give her a list of things to get for me. Why? Well, one, I don't have to go to the store and have the time there, but two, I don't impulse buy. And three, that means I only get exactly what I need for that week. 
No more decision fatigue or anything like that stopping me getting an excuse for what I need to actually implement day to day for my health optimization. And the sixth thing, the sixth hack here isn't really a hack as such. It is just to keep it simple. We get so many protocols thrown at us left, right and centre. It's so easy to fall for the marketing, especially when you guys are so good marketers yourself. Most of the people I work with have been in online marketing. They're entrepreneurs and they know sales. Everyone is a salesman. So think about it. Is this diet going to work optimally for me? Or is that person just simply trying to get my money? Or is that person going to develop a plan specific for me? What are their testimonials saying? What are the people saying that have worked with them? Are they simply chucking out a cookie cutter plan? Do I really need to just have butter and coconut oil in my coffee every morning to get healthy? Do I need that supplement? Do I need to do all these 26 things just to have a better life? Maybe keeping it simple involves doing one thing, one simple thing at a time. If you want to talk further about my optimization and accountability coaching, get in touch with me. If you drop me a message, hit a comment, or go to revitalizationblueprint.com and click contact. I look forward to hearing from you guys.